Hello and welcome to the final stage of the hackathon. If you are watching this video, it means that you're already preparing your submissions and we are really happy to welcome you on this stage. To submit your solution on lablab.ai, you have to provide some information about your product, which is product description, product name, video of the presentation, demo, presentation itself and a github link. Let me go through the submission process step by step to showcase you and tell some important details you need to know before submitting the product. Let's take a look on the screen. First, now we are on the project dashboard of one of the hackathons that we had recently. Here you have your team and we are going to this team. On your team page you have submit project button. Let's click on this. And now we have our project submission page. Let's take a look on which section. Submission title. Here is the title of your project. Let me make it basic AI app for marketing. All right, let's go to the description. I'll put just a test so we can go further. After that, the long description, the short description will show up on the card of your product, which will give to users brief description of what your project is about. A long description will be on the submission page itself. After you wrote description, you have to put categories and the technologies you used. Let me make it marketing and let's say content. And technologies I used, it can be open AI, it can be stable diffusion. Why is it important? because we will be ranking your apps using these categories and if people will be interested in apps that was built specifically on stable diffusion or open AI they can pick it on app discovery so please make sure to take some time and fill out these fields because it will help your product to be on the top positions on the next step we'll work on the design so here you have to upload your cover photo of your product it can be your logo it can be something that you created before but also we have prepared Figma board with some templates for you let's take a look. So here you have some basic templates you can choose from, pull the name of your product, description, team name, and here's we have the hackathon title. After this, you have to upload your video in mp4 format for us to take a look so it can be uploaded to the page. Please don't paste the YouTube link, better to have as a world video. Also, we have a guidelines for creating a project pitch. You can check it out right before you will be starting preparing your video. In the video, you have include your project presentation, information about the solution you come up with, the structure of your project and the technologies you have used. Also, you can add some information about your team. It would be great to have a business plan and monetization strategies you're going to have in your projects and uh, future plans. Also, make sure to show us how your app works, so live demo of your project. The video should be up to 5 minutes long as a basic Beach. In order to make it shorter, please make sure to cut out the pauses and the silent moments. Also, please try to avoid the speeding up the video because it will impact heavily on the quality of the sound and which will be harder for us to listen to the presentation. In addition to the submission page, you have to include your PDF slides of the presentation so we can briefly find the information that we need and it will be easier for judges to rate your project when they can easily access to all the necessary information as the project structure, technology you use, team information and business plan. Let's move on to the next step. Here we have basically our application. In this step, you have to include the link for your public GitHub repository. It can be also private, but if you decide to make it private, we will ask you to give the access for view the code for our judges and we will provide to you the list of judges once you will request it from our organizers or mentors. For some hackathon, partners require us to provide a code so they can check the originality of the product and have complex solutions. Please make sure to avoid sharing of your API key for users. On the next step, you should pick the platform you used for demo. It can be extremely rapid and versatile that you usually recommend. Also, you can use any of those that you prefer. We don't require any specific platform, but it's just those that we can recommend. Extremely important part is a project demo. Without this, we can't put you on the leading positions. Demo will help us try out your project as a users so we can better rate your solution. So please make sure to include the link for your ready-to-play application demo. Also, there you have fields for any additional information, materials, maybe some extra videos you want to share with us, and it will be included into your submission page. Here we go. Now you completed your submission. Congrats with that. And now you have one extra project into your portfolio that you can use for your proposals, and you can even include it into your CV. After finishing your submission, we are starting evaluation process. And on this stage, judges 
and people that created this technology that you revealed on can go take a look on your project and rate it, leave their feedbacks. So you will have clear feedback on your project from the creators of technology and our mentors, so you will know the next step and what you can improve for the future. In case you will have any questions regarding the submission process or website issues, please contact organizers or mentors. Happy to welcome you in the community.